even with holding the third best record in the NBA, the Toronto Raptors are just not getting talked about enough. But before I get into this video, I would like to ask everybody who enjoys our content to subscribe as only 6% of our viewers have hit the sub button. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it only takes about a second or two and it helps us out tremendously in YouTube's algorithm. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into the video. The Raptors currently hold the second seed in the Eastern Conference with a 46-18 record and are just 6.5 games behind the Milwaukee Bucks. Coming off of their first ever championship in franchise history just a season ago, lots of people expect them to hang around the 5th or the 6th seed in the East after losing 2019 Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard free agency. They've definitely proved a lot of doubters wrong this season, as going into the Orlando bubble, they definitely have one of the better chances to win the NBA championship. The main reasons for their success has to do with defense, depth, and how their young players have developed. First, let's talk about the development of their young players, which leads into their depth. Obviously, the first player I should talk about is Pascal Siakam. Siakam has become a household name around the NBA and actually made his first all-star team this year. He should also be in the running for most improved player. This season, he's averaging just around 23 points per game and 7 rebounds. These are big improvements from last year as he is up in points by 7 and rebounds by just 1. He's also a really good defender as he uses length to get 1 block and 1 steal per game this season. The next young player I want to talk about is Fred Van Vliet. Van Vliet is averaging career highs in just about every category. He's scoring at a very high rate, averaging 17 points per game, while shooting 40% from the field, 39% from 3, and 84% from the free throw line. He also has had really good passing numbers this year as he's averaging a career high 6 assists per game. The last young player that I really want to go in depth about is Terrence Davis. In my opinion, Davis is a Raptors secret weapon this year. He's a perfect fit for this team as he's a taller point guard that can shoot, play defense, and get to the basket when he has a ball in his hand. He primarily plays off ball, hence his 17% usage rate, but he has had flashes all season playing on ball. Now let's talk about how good they are defensively. This season they're only allowing 106.5 points per game, which is number one in the Eastern Conference in points allowed. They are also at the top of the league when it comes to steals and blocks per game as they average 8.8 .8 steals and 5 blocks. It makes sense as they have a lot of players who are some of the best at their position when it comes to defense as they have players like Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam, Norman Powell, Marcus Gasol, Serge Ibaka, and Terrence Davis. But to kind of start wrapping up this video, I want to talk about the team's veteran presence and their depth. First, let's go over one of the most underrated players in basketball in my opinion, and Kyle Lowry. This season, he made six consecutive All-Star appearance and had one of the better overall seasons of his career. So far this season, he's averaging just under 20 points per game, which is the most he's averaged since the 2016-2017 season. He's also averaging just around 8 assists per game, which is the most he's averaged outside of last year. And his shooting splits are great too. He's shooting 41% from the field, 35% from 3, and 87% from the free throw line. And defensively, he's one of the best at his position, and is averaging 1.3 steals per game. One last player I really want to go in depth about is Serge Ibaka. I don't really care to talk about Marcus Saul as he's dealt with injury the entire year and he hasn't really played too well when he did play, but back to Ibaka, he's having one of the best years of his career offensively and he's averaging 16 points per game which is a career high for him. He's also shooting 40% from the 3 point line on 3.5 three threes per game which is outstanding especially for a center. His rebounding stats have also been very good as he's averaging 8.3 a game which is the best since 2013 with Oklahoma City Thunder for him. But to wrap this video up, I do want to talk about the X factor for the Raptors this postseason. It isn't a specific player, but it's really if their guys can stay healthy. This whole season, Toronto has been diminished by injuries and still found a way to be atop the Eastern Conference. To end off this video, I'd like to ask everybody who enjoyed it to please leave a like, as it only takes about 1-2 to two seconds for you, but it helps us out tremendously to get on YouTube's recommended page. Also, down in the comments, let me know who you think will win the NBA Finals this year. I'll personally be making a video soon letting y'all know who I think will win. 